may be seated. Good evening, parents, family, friends, and special guests. I am Denise Bay, and it is my honor to serve as the principal of Christine Gordon Education Center. Please join me in welcoming our Gilbert County Schools Chief of Schools and Board of Education Member. Please stand and be recognized.
You are able to do household chores by yourself without help. But you see, we are the same, but different. And we are here tonight to celebrate these 10 courageous students that have went through some seven years, some less, some a little more, to get a high school education. But I submit to you all that we are the ones here tonight that will get our diplomas as well. Because I'm going to educate, or at least try to educate you on the same but different. So the first thing I want to say is children have to be exposed in order to know what they like and in order to develop in those areas. If they're not exposed, they don't know. We all can stand here and say that in 2020, we probably had one of the most difficult or different years of our lives. But we have 10 courageous students here who showed us how to weather any storm that comes because they're still here they're graduating tonight. And I know the applause is supposed to come at the end, but I want everyone on their feet to give these 10 students a big round of applause. Talents that they bring to us 
the opportunities that they will encounter, the sacrifices that they've made to get here. It's just something that we all need to celebrate and always remember. The same but different. And I don't know how old each one of the students are individually, but I know that they had to make up their mind and they had to have a drive and they had to have a determination to make it to this day. So they're the same but different. And sometimes people will look at everyone else and say, well, you see seen one, you've seen them all. I guess I heard that a time or two in my life because I'm not in the 20. And so um, every time I go somewhere, my sister, even now to this day, in our 50s, people are like, Lisa, Laura, Laura, Lisa, you know what I mean. If I saw one of y'all, saw the other. But I would submit to you today that if you saw one child with autism, you saw one child with autism. And every one of these children are unique. Every one of these children learn in their own way. Every one of these children accomplish things in their own time, but all 10 of them collaboratively and, and together are standing here on this day to say, I made it to my high school graduation. And when this is over, I don't know what this Bailey's going to say, but I'm going to encourage each, each and every one of you to toss those hats in the air, clap your hands, <laughs> stomp your feet, and look at all the rest of us and say, we did it. So you guys have no excuse. So it is my honor today to be here, and I won't take up too much of your time. I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of the students. Thank you to the parents. A huge, huge thank you to the teachers that are giving up their time, giving up their efforts to make sure that every child has an opportunity to be successful in their own way and in their own right and in their own time. Every child is different and every child is unique. And we applaud them today and again, I am so very honored that they asked me to join them, to celebrate this moment. I would not be anywhere else but right here. And each of the stories, I wish I had an opportunity or time to read each one of them. When I tell you they excel in art, they excel in dance, they excel in all kinds of things. And I think, I, I sat there as I was reading and I thought to myself, why did it take me so long to go to college? 29 years old. But what they have taught me today, and I get my diploma in, is understanding and realizing we're all the same but different. And that's okay. And that's okay. So young men and young women, let me encourage you to continue to push forward. Continue to be your own beautiful and unique self. Continue to make a goal and continue to strive for it. Continue to celebrate each and every milestone that you hit. And continue to be the very best you that you want to do. There was a quote that I heard from an autistic friend of mine. And he said one time, I may not get there when you get there, but I will get there in my own time. Just be there waiting for me. So I say to you with honor and with pride, we are all here waiting for you. And we're glad you're here. And we celebrate each and every one of you. And we say congratulations to you. And again, give me these young men and women another hand.
It is also a time for thanking those who have helped you reach this milestone in your life. On your behalf, it is my privilege to publicly thank your families, caregivers, friends, your teachers, and the entire Mighty Mustang Learning community who have benefited from impacting your lives in such a meaningful way. Parents and caregivers, thank you for supporting us and for sharing such beautiful young men and women with us. Thank you for all the ways you supported your young adult on their journey. And thank you for your commitment to their growth and development. Parents, families, and caregivers, please stand to be recognized. Once you return to school, the privilege 
Congratulations online. During morning greetings, you never fail to give fist bumps while working on your social story. <laughs> Congratulations, Jamari, for graduating from high school in four years. We are proud of you. You were actively in 
engaged in telling stories about how you have helped others and how others have helped you. Congratulations on your plan to attend Outward Bound Day Program after graduation. Thank you. 
Montez Jacobs. Selena Marie Krill. Devin Rashar Martin. Nazia Jonah Martinez. Joshua Andrew Mayer.
Parents, it is now time for our seniors to share their gifts with the others in the community. In closing, I would like to end with two anonymous quotes. The first says, sometimes the biggest superhero live in the smallest children fighting the biggest battles. The second quote says, children with special needs come into our lives, leaving footprints on our hearts, and we are never the same. Your graduates, our graduates, have overcome some amazing challenges to communicate, to learn, or just to be. And in doing so, they have left indelible impressions on our hearts, by which we will never be the same. Thank you for sharing your unique, differently able young men and women with us. It has been our pleasure and privilege to serve. Congratulations, graduates. 